So we're here at the back of hole number 16 at Trump International Golf Club in Dubai. We're faced with a very tricky undulating golf shot down to downhill pin on a fast green. The issue we see for most golfers is when they actually approach the golf shot itself, the preparation and the visualisation of the shot is usually where the initial mistakes are made. Most golfers will go straight for a sort of 58, 60 degree golf club that is going to lift the ball in the air. The margin for error when using this golf club is, is very, very small. Again, on the tight ground and these tight surrounds, it's very, very difficult to get that strike pattern the same every single time. So we'd see golfers try and, try and hit this golf shot and make the errors and make the mistakes with that initial decision. So we're going to have a look now at playing three different ways to play this golf shot and see which one comes out best. So although we can get some great success using the lofted clubs, the 58 degrees, the 60 degrees from these sort of shots, again as we mentioned the margin for error is very very small and the strike pattern can break down very easily. It can pay to use something with a bit less loft, like an 8-iron or a 7-iron, keeping the ball on the ground for longer and using the contours to our advantage. That way we can achieve a better strike pattern without having to try to manipulate and we've got a much bigger margin for error with our strike when we're playing the golf shots. As we can see, very small swing, very little body movement. The club's done most of the work there for us, a bit of an easy approach. So sometimes we can find a shot as fast as this and downhill with as much undulations, it's difficult to pick a landing spot with an eight iron or, or a club with less loft. So I mean, an alternative way to play this shot might be use a hybrid, a utility club or a fairway, and keep the ball on the ground all the way through. So we're going to approach the golf shot just like we would a putt, grip the club almost on the shaft at the bottom of the grip, take our putting stance, and just visualise that ball rolling on the ground all the way to the hole. As you can see, an even smaller swing than we had with the chip and run. The club's always under control. We're just visualising that starting point and the ball rolling towards the hole in the contours there. So as we can see there, we've approached the same golf shot in three completely different ways. Really take this into your practice and try and visualise which shot's best for you and where you want that ball to land. If you can commit to a shot and really think about how you want that ball to travel towards the hole, you're going to get good results. Thanks very much for joining us this afternoon, guys. If you'd like to learn more about the shots we've played today, it'd be great to see you here at the Academy at Trump International Golf Club in Dubai soon.